B2B business to business video strategy and B2C business to consumer video strategies are different. The reason they're different is they're targeting different audiences who have different sales cycles, who have different product or service price points and different decision makers. So to create a B2B or B2C strategy for your video content, you really need to understand your audience first. Today, we're gonna to talk about the different strategies involved in B2B video content and B2C video content. Hi, I'm Reb Risty, Head Rebel at Rebel Marketing, and today we're going to talk about some of the differences between B2B video strategy and B2C video strategies. First, you want to start with understanding your audience. If you're a B2B company and you're producing a video, you really want to build trust and educate your audience. The reason is, you're targeting multiple decision makers within a company and they need to know and understand what you do and their sales cycle is usually gonna take longer because they're doing research on you along with your competitors. Along with that, you should be able to convey what you do in a concise and professional manner in your video and understand that it's gonna take more educational and thought leadership versus promotional and sales videos. For B2C videos, understanding your audience means that you're usually dealing with a single consumer who's looking for a product at a lower price point. So there's a lower barrier for them to make that decision. They're usually gonna make the decision quicker. So your video content should be more promotional and should be a lot shorter and quick and to the point so that that consumer, as they're moving quickly through your content and your competition's content, that they're gonna be able to see your content and hopefully purchase your product or service first. Now let's talk about content. For B2B videos, your videos are probably going to be longer. They could be anywhere from two to 20 minutes. On average, about 10 minutes per video is what most B2B videos average. Now, with that said, your videos should be more educational, maybe technically focused on your product or service, but you're really trying to bring the consumer or the decision makers in the company along your sales cycle so that they understand why they should trust you and that you're the better choice over your competition. This doesn't mean that you can't have fun with your videos, but it does mean that you probably are gonna take a more professional twist to your style and make sure that you're on point and clear about the benefits of what you do over your competition. For a B2C video content strategy, you really need to get the consumer's attention quickly as they are most likely looking at other products in a more casual way. Since you're at a lower price point, this means that if you aren't on point in the beginning, then you may miss their attention and you may miss the opportunity. So make sure that your videos are eye-catching, to the point immediately, and short, so that that consumer can make a quick decision while they're looking for your product or service. Next is your distribution strategy. So when you have a B2B video, you're probably going to want to place those videos on LinkedIn, Vimeo, YouTube, and don't forget your website. So take those into consideration when you're putting your strategy together. For B2C videos, you're going to want to look at platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those will perform better there as you have your more consumer-based audiences. Now let's get to some of the areas where B2B and B2C are similar in their strategy. Emotional appeal. Even though B2B may seem more corporate and stiff, you still need to connect with people. Those decision makers are people. So they wanna feel like your brand understands them and gets them. Even though you're gonna be more educational or maybe technical, use 
people in your company or professionals that can really convey your brand and your culture, as well as educating that end viewer to make that decision. Where it comes to B to C, you're still appealing emotionally to that decision maker. It's just maybe more in a casual way or a fun way, but get to the benefits quickly so that they can make a decision while they're watching your video. The quality of the video content matters for both B2B and B2C. You want to have good audio, visual, lighting, scripting. Don't just wing it. Your end customer deserves good content and so do you so that you get value out of that video. Last but not least, you want to make a good first impression. What do I mean by that? Within the first five to 10 seconds, you should make sure you grab the audience's attention, get to the point so they want to watch the rest of your video. Well, I hope you liked our tips in the video and please comment below on how you're going to make your B2B or B2C video marketing strategy better. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe so you can get updates on our latest videos on how we can help you revolutionize your business marketing. All right, we'll see you at the next video.